The Nebraska Passport Program, which is sponsored by Nebraska Tourism, is a program that is to encourage Nebraskans to get out and travel the state and support their fellow Nebraskans. Participants visit the 80 different sites on the tour at their leisure. It's also really interesting to see how they connect with small businesses and how the small businesses across the state of Nebraska, which essentially are the backbone, really knock it out of the park for us. Florence Mill is one of those businesses. This blends art and history so nicely. Founder and director Linda Meggs says her mill has always been a labor of love. It was a total ruin. It was falling down. It was pink. It was full of 14,000 pounds of fermented grain, dirt, dead animals, and pigeon poop. The preservation of Nebraska history is what drives Megs to preserve the mill. She says tearing down our historic buildings is a travesty. I thought that's really tragic that we do that. And, um, and then we go to Europe to visit history, as though we have none. Sites in Omaha include Crystal Forge, Lewis and Clark Trailhead, Film Streams, and El Museo Latino. Being that spring is just around the corner, the weather in Omaha can be a bit wet and unpredictable, but the passport program doesn't start until May 1st, so hopefully at that time the weather is a little more preferred. For the Omaha News, I'm Jared Kennedy. College students are often the workforce backbone of the businesses surrounding their campus but many struggle to balance work and school. Timber Barber used to work nights for a local grocery store during the school year, but keeping up her grades while working proved to be too much. Uh, it's stressful, like, because I'll have to go to work, but I still have, like, a ton of homework left. And so most of the time I don't work because I don't have the time for it unless it's during a school break. Matthew Copeland is a bike mechanic at Green Street Cycles. He says a flexible job has made his experience a lot easier. Green Street's made the struggle pretty easy just in the fact of the main days that I have large class loads I don't work on. Bell Hops is a moving company that offers college students lower time commitment and open scheduling. The company seeks out college students and pays more than $13 an hour. Anthony Becerra says making his own hours as a Bell Hops mover has made a big difference in his college experience. But it makes it a lot easier for something like Bell Hops because you get to choose your own hours and work in when you are able to and you don't have to work a specified number of hours per week. Recent census data shows us that 71% of undergraduate students work while going to school. This outlines the need for more businesses that cater to that demographic. Attributes that make a business a good fit for college students include flexible scheduling, making your own hours, being located near home or school, and a good hourly wage. For the Omaha News, I'm Jared Kennedy. The Jocelyn Art Museum is running a temporary exhibit focused on the settlement of the West. Toby Jurovics is the chief curator at the museum. He is responsible for choosing the art included in the exhibit. And what we're really looking at is the period from roughly 1830 to 1930 um, that sort of uh, covers both the, the first kind of Anglo encounters with uh, the American West. The exhibit doesn't just tell the story from the Anglo point of view. Through vivid images and striking artifacts, it shows us the hardships endured by Native Americans. This wonderful jacket that was made on the Crow Reservation in the late 19th century, probably sometime around 1885. It's still, I think, a, a kind of remarkably uh, joyous garment, um, even at a time that was um, exceptionally uh, difficult. Both the Durham Museum and the Jocelyn Art Museum have ongoing exhibits that show Omaha's rich history in regards to the transition westward. Amy Rummel is the director of marketing at the Jocelyn. Uh, we're generally looking for exhibitions that are going to enhance what we already have on view in our permanent collection or that brings something new to the mix of what we have to offer. Um, Omaha is one of those cities that really is one of the gateways to the American West. For the Omaha News, I'm Jared Kennedy. El Museo Latino opened up 23 years ago this May, and in that time it served as a bright, shining example of Latino culture in Omaha. M's Pub was once a thriving asset to the restaurant scene in the old market, but after the fire in early January, the building sits an empty shell. Students studying pre-med at University of Nebraska at Omaha have access to high-tech classrooms such as this, but the same is not available at high schools in rural Nebraska.